everybody and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have a little story time for you. I am a hot mess to say the least. Just like that, I forgot to close my window before filming and there's probably like three airplanes that passed, so there's that. But just throughout my life, I do these things that normal people don't do. My eyelash was bugging me. Come on, Demi Wispies, pull through. And it's not like I try to do these things, they just happen. You know, I just got one of those lives where things just happen. Why? Why me? But today I just wanted to share a story about one of those incidents that I will never forget because it's just so chase. So in high school, I did choir for three years. Two of those years, I was in two choirs, and the first year, I was just in one. Three times a year, we have concerts at this venue type thing by our school. It's like just this really open venue. You walk in, there's seats, and then there's like a stage, you know, just like a venue. And then if you go down these stairs, then you get to the green room where all of the kids in choir just chill until the concert starts, like getting ready, eating, just etc. Before the show started, I was backstage in the green room with all of my members in Bella Voce. Bella Voce means beautiful voice, so it was the name of our women's choir. I have some vlogs of that on my vlog channel, like just us hanging out as Bella Voce, so you can check that out if you want to. But anyway, me and Jen were getting ready together and then it was about time for us to go on. In high school, I was literally and genuinely obsessed with Rinconcito, which is literally a Mexican restaurant in my area. <laughs> I can't even explain how much money I wasted on them damn tacos and horchata, but you know what? It's okay. I just love me some tacos and horchata, you feel me? This was the last concert of my senior year, so it was really emotional and kind of important for all of us seniors. My friend that graduated last year brought me some horchata down to the green room because they knew how much I loved it and they just wanted to like give me a little reward and like get hype for the concert. So knowing that my group Bella Voce went on next, naturally Naturally, I drank the whole thing. <laughs> We only had five songs, but we still had five songs, which is kind of a lot because our spring show was like the biggest show. I had to go to the bathroom and that was fine. And I was also feeling a little bit dehydrated. So we go on stage and we were doing really good. Like all the girls, we were all sounding so good. Each part was killing the notes. We were all doing pretty good. We were trying really hard to do good because the last shows was kind of not the best, let's just say that. We literally forgot the words to one of our songs and then I sounded like straight trash in one of my solos and, and some of the other songs were just super hard. So it was, it was just a hot mess. So we were trying to redeem ourselves and sound really good, right? So the last song that we were going to do was It's Raining Men. And for that song, we were going to change outfits. We were going to just be like super extra and bougie. Like we had rain ponchos and umbrella, like everything. Like we were wearing dresses and we put like jeans on. Like it was, it was, a, it was gonna be a thing, okay? Like, it was going to be a thing. So we go backstage into the green room, change, everything is fine. Our teacher is doing a little piano intermission, just stalling time for us to get ready and changed and such. I'm a hot mess, like I said earlier. So I was finishing up, I was the last of course, and I was walking out to get into line and I felt my nose run. I was a little sick, so I didn't really pay much attention to that. Like it, it wasn't bad, you know? My formation was at the end, so it was okay that I was last up there too. When we walked on the stage, we didn't walk on to like the beat of the song. We just walked on. I was one of the last people to walk on and as I was about to like actually walk on I felt my nose running a lot. So I put my hand to my nose and when I pulled away it was red. My nose was bleeding as I was supposed to go on stage and sing and I had a solo. This is literally what it looked like. Jen! Jen! My best friend Jen was just a few people ahead of me, so I was screaming to get her attention so she could tell our teacher to stop playing the piano because I was literally bleeding. So Jen was hella confused. She looked at me, but then she saw me bleeding and she hates blood. So she got attention of the other girls. Some of the other girls saw me bleeding and they were like, what is going on? So confused. Half of them were already on stage and then our teacher just stopped playing piano and they were really confused because they couldn't see what was going on. They just seemed me running off stage with my hand to my nose just looking confused. I caught my teacher's attention a little bit so he kind of knew what, there was something going on with me. He announced to the audience that they were going to take a short break meaning he had no idea what the hell was going on. As a kid I suffered from chronic nosebleeds. Like I was literally always getting there. I could be, just be standing there and get a nosebleed for no reason. As I got older I didn't get them as much however I still get them really easy if I hit my nose, hit my face, or 
if I'm just dehydrated. Considering I was already dehydrated and I drank 32 ounces of horchata instead of water before going on stage, your girl was really dehydrated. Therefore, I got a nosebleed. So after I ran backstage, I was downing water like nothing because I knew that's what was wrong with me. And a concert choir went on. Thankfully, that's not the other choir I was in that year. So I finally stopped bleeding and then after concert choir, we were able to go on and semi-decently still do the performance. I say semi-decently because I just watched the video on YouTube and I forgot that my umbrella broke the first time I had to stop the show because of my bloody nose the second time I just looked like an idiot because there was a part where we go like this with our umbrellas and they're supposed to like flash open and then we spin them basically somehow in the process of that my umbrella broke and because of that I was confused and then I didn't even spin it the right way so I was just a hot mess. That song and I were beefing forever. Me and that song don't have good memories. Me and that song, that song hates me. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> so then after that experience, I run off stage and then I have to change into my dress for the next choir that I was in. I was just so happy to be done with that, that whole nose bleeding situation. It was a hot mess. So if you get anything from this pointless story, don't drink 32 ounces of horchata before you go on stage and sing songs. And that's about all that I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a like, comment something down below, and also subscribe if you liked this video. And if you really liked the video, hit the post notification bell twice, that way you can really see whenever I post and be my friend. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.